All of these backyard gardens are vastly different in shape and size, they have different plants growing in them, and they all have different purposes. However, they all share a commonality, which is a material that gardeners are using inside of them to maximize their efforts. In today's video, I'm going to talk about this material and the benefits of using it so you can decide if it's the right option for you and your garden. Now, first of all, what is this material that I'm talking about? This is a steel tube called EMT conduit, and EMT stands for electrical metallic tubing, which makes sense because because this is designed and manufactured for the purpose of protecting cables and wires in electrical applications. It's most commonly used in commercial buildings, but it's also readily available off the shelf. You can buy it at places like Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, Ace Hardware, True Value, and places like that, and you can find it in the electrical aisle. Now, EMT conduit is galvanized, which is great news for gardeners, but we're going to get into that shortly when we talk about the benefits of using EMT conduit in your garden. First, we need to talk about the how of using EMT conduit for building things. Now, if you're building with wood, you need screws or nails or some kind of fastener to turn wood into houses or garden beds or whatever it may be. Now, EMT conduit is no different. Now, there are off-the-shelf fittings for conduit, but they're made for electrical work and don't really do the job well when using them for building things. That's why Dave and Kelly started making steel connectors in their garage about seven years ago. They realized that a lot of builders were missing out on the untapped potential of EMT conduit and created a connector system that allows you to build pretty much anything. By far, the gardening community has utilized the Maker Pipe connector system the most. We've seen them turn ordinary electrical conduit into all sorts of awesome things for their gardens. So why do so many gardeners use EMT conduit? What makes it so great? The first benefit that I want to mention is durability. You probably know that a lot of gardeners opt for untreated wood to keep their soil safe for growing food. Obviously, untreated wood is a great option for builds, but you're probably only going to get one or two seasons out of it because the wood is going to rot and deteriorate pretty quickly. Alternatively, empty conduit is made of steel and is galvanized, which helps prevent rust while still being safe for soil and growing food. The next benefit kind of goes hand in hand with durability. A lot of builders in the maker pipe community have expressed that they like using conduit and connectors because of the strength that they offer over other options like PVC. The PVC pipes are a great option for gardeners, but they could potentially break and fail when building plant supports and other things that need to be strong and support heavier plants for an entire growing season. Now, empty conduit is surprisingly strong, even though it's a thin walled tube. We've seen countless builds like these from the community that really show how strong and capable conduit can be if paired with a building system like MakerPipe. I'll link a gardening idea build ebook in the description if you're interested in seeing some of the things that the community has built. They really do a good job of showing the potential of what conduit and connectors can offer gardeners. Another benefit is modularity. Now, Because you're not welding the tubes or using glue to make connections, you can change things around while you're building for the first time or as your garden and the seasons change over time. We've seen a lot of builders create basic frames that pretty much stay the same all the time, and then as the seasons change, they add greenhouse plastic or extra bars to support trellising and other things like that. We've also seen people completely take apart their original build and repurpose the conduit and connectors for completely new garden structures later down the road. The benefit of modularity kind of stems from another benefit, which is the ease of working with conduit and clamps. You don't need any power tools to cut conduit or assemble the connectors. The only special tool that you probably don't already have is a rotating pipe and tube cutter, which is pretty inexpensive and pretty easy to learn how to use. Now to assemble connections, you only need a five millimeter hex wrench. Because neither of these tools require electricity, you can build right in your garden, which makes it much easier to get measurements and build on the fly. They're also very beginner friendly, which is great because you might be intimidated to use other materials like wood because of the tools and skills that are needed. Our goal is not to replace other building options, but rather add to your arsenal of tools and methods so you can get the most out of your garden. I recommend that you evaluate the different material options and their specific benefits based on what you need to make. From there, you can see if conduit or wood or any other material makes the most sense for your specific goals. I hope you found this video helpful, and hopefully it gives you some things to consider when planning your upcoming garden. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.